you guys going today? Bring bring me up today. I'm gonna to show you guys how to play against poker pros. This video is titled How Not to Play Against Poker Pros. I'm gonna be uh, analyzing this as a poker pro myself and telling you what you should actually be doing when you are Elizabeth in this spot. So let's get right into the hands. You bastard! <laughs> Why? I did I have I did watch this episode before actually. Um I watched like the full, like I don't know, hours and hours of uh hands and she folded like a lot of hand like she fold she definitely folded some hands pretty flop like honestly you probably should have called and sometimes she should have like I can't I don't know like this is a little I'll show you, how to I'll show you guys how to play let's get right into the analysis tight image and an unorthodox approach to the game in this compilation we showcase how you oh my god the hard card just don't play like shouldn't play, play against the pros so you should obviously raise bases she limps. Very risky. <laughs> I'm so scared to have That's a hand really here. That's really weird. Oh. Not a game. What all position right, is she? Nice this time. They're all going to yell at me if I keep oh. picking on you. Viffer calls. All right. So so pocket pair. For okay, yeah. She was early position, so she was wait. She was like, just, she just wanted someone to raise. That makes sense, honestly. Um, for Tony, announces a raise to 4,800. Elizabeth listed that play, Tony. That is a play that works with aces, just flipping them uh, early so you could re raise. He is her favorite poker hoping someone that player. Yeah, hoping Maybe someone raises because you're playing with Tony G and Danny. Uh, I mean, like, I guess mainly Tony G and Veffer. Yeah, I, you're playing with Tony G and Veffer. One of them is going to be fucking raising, dude. She knew right. he was going to do this because right now I'm pretty nervous the way she's playing these aces. I'll make it 16 total. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Elizabeth had a plan. She set the trap, and Tony took the bait. <laughs> Tony, but what happened to just playing nice, nice and seeing a flop? Now she's more. probably Different. getting at least, you know, all. She's probably at least getting like 8K profit. It's just like looking in her eyes, it's like you know. Viffer folds, but goes all in with flirt. All in with flirt. Do you have aces? Good read. Yeah, the thing is, like, when yeah. you make this kind of play, usually you have aces or kings or queens or something. So you have some premium hand. Also, you should not. You should not respond to pros. You should not I'll talk to pros. You should not lawyer. talk to pros. You don't have to answer any questions. <laughs> you don't have to, yeah, you don't have to answer any questions. That's correct, Daniel. That, don't talk to No me. ISIS. No. Don't give any information to a poker pro at a table, okay? That's the number one thing you should know. Like, they can get anything, any bit of information from any gesture, any word that you say, and it will fuck you. you call. At the no, table, but you okay? should call. I should call? You want me to call? Sure. Really? You should, not, you, you should not sound that confident tell the call. That's so bad. Tony's going to fold. Or he's going to call to see the flop in and fold. Well, all right. Just for you. If Tony hits a five, he could get her entire stack. I'd check in the dark. You should just the say flop. nothing next time. Ten, seven, nine. I'd check. Once again, Tony's checked. Safe flop so far, but it is a wet board. I bet 25. Yeah, she, you should fires. bet here to protect. 000, Tony. Really easy fold here for Tony. I am beating Ace, Ace King, by the way, and a lot of other cards. So am I. Can you not speak? This you beating should Ace. not be. You should. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. <sighs> All right. Don't talk. Oh, okay. Tony folds. I saw the fold. She <laughs> wins the pot, but her talking let Tony off easy. Fives. He didn't want to see a five. I thought it was going to be Tony. Elizabeth Houston has already turned a profit. Action folds over to the cannon. Jack 10. You can call. What's the rate? What's the size of the raise? Calls. Yeah, it's a call loose that. call, but call not that. crazy. Ace Jack for Daniel in the small blind. Up in the SB. He squeezed his cards, but is he going to squeeze the pot? A loose call? I don't know about that one. You're on the button, you know? Uh, nah, I'll just see a flop. Yeah, you scare me. So. Daniel calls. Joe folds, so three to the flop. Daniel has opted not to squeeze the pot. Jack five six. Check. Daniel checks top pair. Oh, it's, a, it's hard to get check. out of this one. Reynolds checks. You should Elizabeth's bet here, except. Pair, but she is out kicked. She could end up giving back all the money Daniel she just won. Being tricky. She's always betting. She fires three thousand. Um. Always bet. So actually, uh. Betting always betting. In case you guys didn't know, Hashem actually folded two spades. Okay, so. make it. Uh, with with ten more on top. For all they know, Daniel repops the thirteen thousand. <sighs> Daniel knows he's gonna have the best hand here a huge percentage of the time. Reynolds okay. folds. For Daniel's all you know, like when 
when someone leads out, they could definitely just have a flush draw. We'll call with a Daniel, Daniel is trying to chase away the flush draw. He's like, just like the one I'm raising high. I'm not giving. I'm making it worth the money. Because the thing is, when you race, when you race someone on a draw and they don't hit on the turn, which they probably won't, then you can just raise again, and at that point, it's like, well, that that's already a, a shit ton of money that you've put in. Like the raise on the turn is definitely going to be really high as well, and then it's like eventually it's just going to be not worth it to call. Mm -hmm. Do your thing. Take your time. And this is a this is a very Daniel's good play for Nagano to do if he has his opponent on uh, on spades. But he also dominates the top pair, which uh, he could also have uh, Houston play because she she plays very aggressive with top. She's like one of those players who's like they they don't really raise that much unless they have top pair at worst or something. Save Elizabeth a lot of money here. I really don't care what you do. Not at all. And she has top pair. This is one of yeah. You're beating her still because you have a right. kick. You have top I really kick. didn't care what you did. Good fold though. Good fold. Good fold. You did the right is thing. Mr. Nugano going to show? No. Oh, he had a flush Good draw. fold. Flush draw. Friendly thousand. Tony G raises a friendly thousand. He's Jack. You should re raise because it's Tony. Call. Never mind. Elizabeth is way ahead of Tony's range. Unless, I'd love oh, to yeah, actually, see no, which position But then again, that might make it easier for him to blow her off the flop. Tony, uh, you stole it? Nope. Well, yeah, the, calls. the commentator said you should 3-bet. I say you should 3-bet because, yeah, she was on the button again. And also the thing is, you want to, like, if you if you 3-bet, you get away all these other players. Like, Nagarno would still probably call, but Hashim will fold. So, like, you should definitely, like, next time, just just 3-bet. Just just 3-bet, please. So, and Joe. See, by not re-raising, she's let in two other players who will both want okay, to try to take yeah, this Okay, Yeah, the commentator, Joe, is already saying it. Yeah, so. Away from her at some point. You get point. the points. The um, flop, Jack nine deuce two diamonds. Daniel checks. with the nut flush draw and checks. Joe checks his flush draw. Both playing in flow. Two dollars. Tony bets two thousand. Elizabeth with top pair now. And top kicker, but this is a draw heavy board. Raise it to six. Raises to six. Raising 000. is fine here. Significant commitment here. Um, this is a very good raise like from Elizabeth. Draw. You want to try to get the pot heads up, and you want to charge these jokers to draw. Yep, you want to charge them I to draw. I don't see any of the pros at this table folding the nut flush draw on the flop. Certainly not Daniel. You're right, he calls. Ashen's now, in Joe's fold. case, after a bet and a raise and a call, drawing to a non-nut flush is pretty risky. It is. You got you got to fold here. Like Ashen folds. There's too much and danger out there. Out like, everybody's got something. You got to fold. I've got a plan for you this time. And the plan works as Daniel makes his nut flush. Of course, it would have given Joe a weaker flush than Daniel. Joe will be able to mop up his tears with the money he saved. <laughs> okay, now you gotta think. What Daniel, would Daniel check like call with? Out and then when this flush 000. gets there, he raises on the turn. Dan Very Daniel's interesting. Now play. betting into the last aggressor, which is smart in this case because it prevents you from letting your opponent check behind you. And leading out makes it harder for them to give you credit for a hand. You gotta be so suspicious aggro. of that line. It really looks. Okay, 000. so I'm not sure. Okay, so she what she might be doing here is um to sometimes you want to like check the strength of your opponent's hand by re-raising on the turn, and what that does is that if they re-raise you again, they, you know they ha have you beat. If they just call or something, then you can scare them away from uh you can scare them away. From what you call it, from uh, from from raising you on the river, but also you, um, there's also the fact that uh, um, since you scared them away from raising on the river, like you know the the bet that they would have put out on the river would be much higher mathematically compared to your minimum raise on the turn. Elizabeth obviously so. still really likes top pair, top kicker. She may be afraid that Daniel's trying to make a move on her. And. Daniel re-raises to 50,000. Daniel re raises so if that should be enough this call, for her to know that. More than a third of her stack, and she's drawing dead. Okay, now Elizabeth should nice know that she's beat, right? I'm gonna be your lawyer. Going Take back the through fifth. <laughs> going back through all those hands that I've played on the show before. <laughs> Maybe I'm just trying to decide if I should push now or later. It's up to you. No Jedi mind tricks, Daniel. No more third party in my <laughs> in my hand stuff. Houston <laughs> folds. Show one time, kid. Can't show it. That's weird, Daniel. Didn't you third party in the hand against Tony? Damn, when you raised, I was so happy. Then when you re-raised, I was even happier. And I don't get to see both cards, any card, because I folded a flush. Oh, you had a oh, you would have made a flush on the turn. Yeah. Wow. I just thought I was getting set up with a better flush. Mm -hmm. 
Joe's radar right on. No, he was right. Well, now it is right, time yeah. for the Couch Cannon but segment. The world this is where we reveal only the cards of the loose cannon. You at home, try to play along. This is the segment that's going to win us the Emmy, Chris. I can feel it. Tony's the big blind, so we're under the gun. So under that gun. means our range should Your be range pretty tight. Really tight. Pocket okay. Kings. I'd say that well, falls into our range. We're going to want to make a standard raise. Raise that shit. To be Listen to the commentator. Raise that no, shit. No, just a limp. Not this raise. Elizabeth did this once before with aces. Not this limp. Yeah, the the aces hand. Yeah, not this limp re raise shit again, dude. Like why? It worked out, but I'm nervous about it still. They already know that trick Action now. Has folded around a viffer in the small blind. Fold. Wow, heads up for the G. All right, don't worry. It's it's like a prison. It's not even. So Tony's raised to 1400. I think Tony's, Tony's being honest the there. I think he's actually got a bad hand that he's racing with. It's not oh, even oops. in Come on, Elizabeth. Punish him. There I go. can guarantee you have the best plenty. hand. It's not even Vanessa gonna... Russo punished me something sweet. That was the <laughs> sweetest oh, I punish. Remember, I, remember, I remember that Russo hand to the aces full. Punishment anyone ever received. Tony bets 2000. We're okay with this board so far. We want to start getting value now. Don't, don't get into trouble here. This is dangerous territory. A raise and a call. I don't want to. I've qualified. I can promise you. Five. Jack of clubs on the turn. I can promise you. Tony bets 10,000. I like the flop raise, and while I hate this card that just this came out, Tony. I don't think we I can ever fold two kings to Tony G on this board. He we could too easily be doing this with just a pair or think, even worse. Yeah, like, so I, I don't think, think we should try to get much. the showdown yeah, as cheaply as possible. Shut up, commentator. Let me do my fucking job. Y your job was 10 years ago. Okay, anyways. um, So, like, uh, like, like he said, um, he probably doesn't have a flush. He could be doing this with literally like a five board deuce or some shit. Like, I don't know. Maybe he got five deuce. That would be insane. Um, that would be insane. Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> well, anyways, yeah, we know he has a pair now. I guess he has a pair of twos. He has seven deuce. Are you kidding me? That's what he meant by it, it was a present because he was raising her with the worst hand. Possible now. I lay away point, with a coupon, uh, whatever we have to do. At the very the least, the point I was gonna make was, anyways, you should just call here. See how much we hate the next card. It's a sick lay down. You should just call, and then I don't know. If, maybe if it's a four club board on the river, you should fold. But Did you catch a flush. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm qualified. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna show me? I show you one card. I can't show both. That would be unfair. A few hands ago, Daniel turned a flush on Elizabeth. I just don't just see how you can give Tony call. G this much credit. Just call. Oh, okay. She does. That I'm is, gonna mix it up, don't I? That is not how you Let's play poker, ladies and gentlemen. You should not. Oh, that's brutal. The worst starting hand in poker. One card. I'm gonna hate you, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you should have said it. Yeah. You bastard. <laughs> Why? I king. Course. That's the thing. Queen she Jack played the so passively with the kings. Tony thought she was weak. Like, ah, uh, dude, you should not. I don't know. I guess you re-raise on the flop, but like honestly, to <sighs> cannon calls. Okay. Family pot. Family pot. Family pot. Wow, really? All six of us. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Family pot here in the big. Jack four nine. Joe hits a set. Okay, so with here's the problem. Out there, this could be. Yes, you have top pair, but against five people, that is still for Joe. pretty One dangerous. One of those jacks belongs to the that. cannon who checks. This is Daniel a pretty Jack. dry board, though, so queen jack is usually the best hand. It's just Hashem flops uh, a set and has the rest of the table drawing almost dead, which so is an sick. incredible amount of Hash equity. Hashem, like, you should not let pe that many people in the pot with pocket nines, really. And then you just, he just, he just hits it anyways. Need a six-way pot. Fires 5,500. Everybody needs some kind of runner runner to catch Joe. All right, with the whole family behind. <laughs> Reynolds folds. Fold. Wait, wait, hold Joe. on. Joe. Reynolds had ace king suit. What the fuck? How is how did this become a family pot? There's a one. We have nines and ace king suited, and this became a family pot. Wow, that's insane. All right, with the whole family behind. <laughs> Reynolds folds. If it's gonna Viffer call, calls. Her. Tony's gonna fold. Tony's out. It might be tough for Elizabeth to raise. know she's Please beat don't here. raise a top pair again. Please don't raise a top she pair. She calls. Again. Okay. Wow. Daniel Fold. Fold. Family gets a little bit smaller. Joe's building a pot, and his bet will look like a continuation bet. King of Diamonds. That's Check. a scary card. 
Houston checks. Queen Tang gets Asher's there. Still best. It's a bad turn card for Joe. It's a scare card since the best draw, which was Queen Ten, just got there. Joe checks. Yep. He's gonna play it go. cautiously now. Viffer. That's seventeen thousand. Elizabeth yeah. has caught one part of the runner runner she'll need to run down Joe. She calls. She needs a ten. How much behind this? Five five my fifty five sixty. Joe just calls. Wow. All right. Oh, there's one more card to come. Don't fold yet. Oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> well, I guess we know how Viffer feels about his hand. Joe makes a full house. Oh, check. Votes Houston okay. checks. First, Joe might have been afraid someone had Queen Ten. I'm only nice hoping someone Ashram has Queen shoves. Ten. Now he's really hoping someone has Queen Ten. Viffer folds. So Stop does the doing my job. Cannon. Come on. Wow, you, you played that very uh, interesting. Uh, yeah, just check call the turn and then fire the river. Can't have a hand there. Pocket pair for the loose cannon. Deuces. Quack, quack. It's fine to set Calls. this year. Ooh. Okay. Tony G open and a loose cannon call. All right, Chris, take the night off. Seven from heaven. I did call it. Oh, you should Thank you, it. Mr. Reynolds. Viffer calls. Viffer calls. I should put that on tape. He's always calling. <laughs> Deuce tray eight, two clubs. Set. The cannon flops a set. This would be a good time for her to try to get some of her money back. Viffer checks. Tony checks. Betting's the right move here, here, but betting will but look strong. Nobody's going to fucking call. That's the problem. She fires 3,000. Viffer folds. So's Tony. I'm a two time kind of guy. Always run I always a twice. twice. That's it. She shows. I had King Five. Oh. oh my god. Yeah. A lot of good it did me. Hey, you got a little bit of money. Yeah, I did. I mean, you guys. Just a little bit. You know what my daddy always taught me? You can't go broke making a profit, Elizabeth. Yeah, so. exactly. King Queen suited. Looks Raise. like she's going to play. Raise. Don't lip. Don't lip. Yeah. Don't lip. Please don't lip. Please don't lip. Please don't lip. She just calls. <laughs> Yikes. Daniel calls. <laughs> this level of aggression from the cannon ain't going to cut it. This is not how you Joe play Hashem. poker. Plays for Trey. And I get the discount price. Ace 10 for Reynolds. Oh, you I think Trey everybody pretty spot. much unanimously doesn't want you to raise. Like, you're letting Hashem to fucking go in with four, three yards. Break that, but 55, hey, I could have gone bigger. I asked yeah, pot. Yeah, I asked pot. Raises. 9 8 suited for Corkins. That's an interesting one. So you can actually be Bold. Not yep. charging that much. Tony G's out. The cannon's in. She brought me. So's Daniel. Oh my God. William got Tony to fold, which is a moral Boy, victory already. Gone, Joe's got some tasty pot odds here. Tasty pot odds. And calls. So if he would have re-raised there, I would have been like, I would have bowed and just clapped. I mean, do I <laughs> have, like, do I have to repot then with like whatever my range is? I think so. The flop, five king eight, two diamonds, top it pair was for tasty Houston. Tasty pot odds. <laughs> Your turn first. You're, you got to go first. Anyways, um, yeah, I know. I just like to take my time so all eyes are on me. We don't yeah, give you that much time. Small blind, so when you're a hero, an first. internet hero, <laughs> you do not have that check. Reynolds checks. There's a check. She'll bleed out. One of the few times time Elizabeth has out, actually seen community cards. She has. That's 15,000. Mm, I want to see one more. I have a feeling. Daniel folds. I think you scooped it. So's Joe. And that's a fold. 15, you did scoop it. Reynolds folds and Houston picks up a pot of nearly 39 grand. Here's the thing, you have such a tight image, there's no way people are gonna call your bets unless they actually like have something. Not, not Ice King, you didn't have Ice King. Hmm? Not Ice King. Elizabeth plays her strong hands with a very risky style, but I guess it worked out there. Joe, it was aye actually aye one aye. of the few times she's seen a flop. Elizabeth has only seen 18% of the flop, so it hasn't been easy to get paid off because of her tight image. But Jesus now that she's Christ. got this image, it will only hurt her unless she learns to use it to her advantage. Pocket pair for the cannon. Against Tony's range, she should be three betting. Three bet. Also, three she bet, thinned three the bet, field. Three bet. Three bet. Three bet. Nope. Just no! calls again. Why are you playing like this? Ace queen for Daniel. Daniel may read Elizabeth's limp as dead money. I'm poking. Re-raises to 7,100. Just for the record, I'll take any two aces that you give me, okay? okay. That joke's about as funny as Yahoo's serious. <laughs> How much, though? 55 more. 55 more. That is very, very liberal. Tony calls. I will speculate Don't with you. Don't just call. So's the cannon. Oh. 
I am like looking to make a big, big pot. Bet fifty thousand in the dark. What are you doing? <laughs> Trey Deuce Nine. Great flop for the loose cannon. Let's see how she plays it. That's a safe flop, Daniel. That's a safe, comfortable, relaxing flop. But I am very interested. I have actually qualified with one of those cards. I understand. <laughs> if you make it reasonable, Qualified I will be nine. chasing it. Okay. <laughs> make it like 7,000. How's 85? 8,500 it is. You should re-raise. I was going to call, but she's looking at her chips, so I'm getting nervy. <laughs> Tony folds. Let's see if Elizabeth pops Daniel right Stop here. Stop going so fast to fucking re-raise. She, she qualified as nope, well. Nope, just called. <laughs> you, go, you have a set again? That would suck for me if she has another set. Four of spades on the turn. Don't get chased away Check. by the spades. Daniel checks his straight draw. Another safe card for Elizabeth. Just raise, Daniel picks just up raise, a few more outs, raise, so she should bet raise. and keep him from getting a free card. Please. This is killing me. She does, and Daniel folds. That was very unfortunate. Finally. Set. Show him one, Liz. She does. Ten. Pocket ten. Pocket tens are nine, ten of hearts. Now Houston's down just a bit. Remember, she started the evening stuck over 46 grand. Pocket tens. By showing there, Elizabeth really solidifies her image. She could really start to get away with some you things really if she wanted hold. to. I mean, you really shouldn't show. And if not, it's going to be very difficult for her to get paid. Queen Jack for the cannon. She calls out of position. So does Daniel. And like that, Williams built himself his own little pot odds. He calls two. Four person party to the flop, which is. Eight queen jack, top two for the cannon. This is an action flop, Ooh, and it looks like Elizabeth is gearing up for a donk bet. You should fucking bet high. Fire six thousand. Even though Daniel probably knows she's uh, strong, he's open-ended and I drawn would, like, to the nuts. I like or something more. Calls. I fold. Thank you, William. Tony G. He's got a pair and a gut shot. Calls. Probably a little more action than Elizabeth was hoping for. The turn is the four of spades. Should Elizabeth would do really right to high, bet again please. for value and to prevent these guys bet from like getting two a free card. Pot or something. She does, making it 15,000 to go. No. It's a decent sized bet. But we saw Daniel chase the last hand, and on this hand, he's got better pot odds and implied odds. Your odds Daniel's are just too good with that sizing. Probably has something strong go enough higher. to lose it all if he does make the nuts. <laughs> Daniel calls. Tony folds. Good luck. Good luck. Heads up to the river, which is the ace of hearts, oh. making a straight for Daniel. That's Daniel's gen card, and this could get ugly for the cannon. God. I expect her to bet here. Now she checks. She, 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 she raised she really down. higher. She could have gone Daniel to fold. Daniel's got the nuts. Game. Let's see how much he thinks she'll pay off. <sighs> Daniel's going to go for some thin value on because he knows that she's tight. 50. Never he mind. 50. Never mind. She, he just bets pot. Thousand. We know Elizabeth should fold, but she knows Daniel is steaming, and there are plenty of hands she could be beating. If she was wise enough to check the river, maybe she'll have the discipline to fold. If Elizabeth has watched this show at all, she would know Daniel doesn't bluff raise the river very often. No one does. If Elizabeth makes this call, she'll have less than 30,000 remaining in her stack. Come on, Elizabeth. Call. Why is, he, why is he betting, like... What do you think he's betting pot with on the ripper after he, after he's just, after he was just check call 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 shit like? She sees it. Damn it! Oh, Super. No. Daniel with the dirty river. I'm not trying to say it was yeah, pretty easy there. to read a king ten on Daniel there, but like you really should not, you really should just be betting higher next time. Had so many big hands get cracked. She's yeah. made big laydowns too. Yeah. Pocket pair for the cannon. With 29,000 right left, this is basically all in territory. You should just shove. You should just shove. Oh, just just raise pull the trigger. Raise pull the chips. trigger. King Queen for Daniel. All right, we'll give her some action. Overcalling chips. Call shove. Luck. If Honestly. Daniel wanted her to have luck, he wouldn't be in this pot trying to run her down. Shove. Reynolds yeah. is out. Twelve. Well, I Tony repops. Where you, your head's up against one. Tony's guy trying to give her really some protection. She should put in a fourth bet here. Just shove, just shove, just shove, just shove, just shove, just shove, just shove. Please just shove. What the hell? Nope, just a call. I hate. Ugh. Ugh. This is not how you play poker. Like, no. <laughs> just uh, no. Oh, you just have to run. Even Tony's disgusted. Why do you just call? 
sorry. I yeah. thought he wanted to I, tag I team me. I thought it was potted already. Tony, Tony really wanted to tag team me there and get me out. Oh, uh, <laughs> really? I mean... No, I understand. I don't care. Daniel called three to the flop, which is queen eight trade. Check. Tony checks. I'm I have the to shove here, in. but... Daniel hit his three outer, man. He hit his one out with that. How much is it? Daniel hit his three outer. So sick. The loose cannons all and all of it. I busted two in my career. It's like 11 9. Elizabeth can't be feeling too comfortable right now. It sucks. Daniel calls. Uh, uh, anyways, um, I'm, I don't want to see the rest of this, so I'm just going to say don't play poker like this. Just. No one to three bets. No how like no Know that when you're up against an aggressive player they probably don't have a hand on you like the seven deuce hand. Um He didn't he had a pair of twos, like just call. He's a really aggressive player, just call. And like why do you think he's like the hand before where he she lost a shit ton of money, like just bet higher. And like, don't let him get the draw. And like, you could, you probably should have put him on the draw. To be honest, if he's been pot after check call calling, like, and like, I don't know, dude. Like, th this is just you should re-raise your big hands, like, way higher. And like, stop, stop. Like, why did you limp with K like? Oh my god, I, I can't, dude. I, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Sky and Sarah. peace.